We're here at the Emory University Global Health and Humanitarian Summit, and right now I'm standing here with Yusuf Haruna from Ghana outside his mobile clinic. Do you think you could tell us a little bit more about it? Yes. Uh, this bus here was purchased to, be, to serve as a mobile clinic in Ghana, to go to rural areas in Ghana to provide health care screening. The bus basically uh, will go from town to town within a 50 mile radius of the regional capitals in Ghana, provide health care, basically we're looking at diabetes, uh, hypertension, and cardio and uh, breast cancer incidents in Ghana. The data from the bus will be collected and most likely beamed to countries or physicians all over the world so they can provide um, diagnosis to the patients without actually having, to, having seen the patient. So the bus will be equipped with a satellite that would beam this um, healthcare information and data to physicians in the world, uh, all over the world. Uh, we have registered a few cardiologists who have, uh, here in the United States who have expressed interest in volunteering some of their time to uh, look at the results from the screening. Uh, my name is Christine Conley and I work with Heartbeat International Foundation and we are super excited about the concept of this diagnostic bus because what we do is partner with the medical manufacturers of pacemakers and we get pacemakers donated to our organization which we then take to third world developing countries and we have a system of doctors and hospitals in place who implant those pacemakers at no charge to the patient and we've been doing that for over 25 years and have saved over 10 thousand lives that way but that is solely treatment of cardiovascular disease and since cardiovascular diseases are the number one killer worldwide we need to start focusing on the prevention and education component of treating those diseases and so this bus represents a wonderful diagnostic tool that can go anywhere we need it to and help us find patients that need those pacemakers since we already have those pacemakers ready for them at the will and donation of these great manufacturers. Um, this here is an outline of what the bus going to look like when it's converted. Um, There's the entrance and then these two seats here would represent a waiting area in the bus. So the patient is coming from the front door, they wait over here. This area is going to be screened off where we have a flat screen TV with a DVD. While they are waiting they'll be able to watch uh, and listen to um, video on healthcare, lifestyles and any kind of illness that they may have. On the left hand side of the bus, the seats will be removed and turned around so if the seats are facing each other, there will be a table in between the seats and that will serve as an area for blood pressure and hypertension, uh, blood pressure and the diabetes uh, screening. The seats on the right hand side of the bus will be removed and be used for storage of medical equipment and supplies. In the bus also we're going to have um, a sink, refrigerator and a restroom and a microwave just to take care of the, uh, the supplies that might be needed. All the way to the back of the bus, uh, before you get to the red door, you're going to have an, ex an examination room which will be used for ultrasound. At the back of the bus, you're going to have a second examination room which will be used for cardio. We are already active in Ghana where this bus is heading, so we're very excited about the potential um, progress that our two organizations can make with this bus um, in the diagnostics and pacemaker um, industry. And we also look forward to hopefully transferring this idea into other countries as well, and that way we can make this a really global impact. Well, I feel that uh, Christine has already explained to you our purpose as from Heartbeat International goes. We are there to provide uh, pacemakers to uh, developing countries. We are in 24 countries presently, and we are adding on the education process for preventive cardiac education to the developing countries so that the people understand uh, the consequences of heart diseases and to control it right at the beginning. And I appreciate the time that uh, Mr. Yusuf has given to us and showed us this idea, which is remarkable. This could be a very good mobile clinic, uh, specifically in our field of cardiovascular diseases. Thank you so much.